everybody! Welcome back to a brand new episode of Pokemon Brilliant Diamond! In the last episode, we made it to Kanalave City. Hopefully I said the name right because I can't- I don't know if I did. But we made it here, we took down Byron, got our very... Fifth... Sixth... It's our sixth gym badge, right? Not our fifth. This is our sixth. Yeah, we got our sixth gym badge, and we were instructed by Professor Rowan to go to Lake Acuity. Lake Valor. We were requested to go to Lake Valor, not Lake Acuity. But yes, Lake Valor is where we're supposed to go, but we're gonna ignore his request and actually go to Iron Island instead. Do you want to set sail? Yes, I do. Aye aye, anchors away. Yeah. Depending on how. Yeah. <coughs> sorry. I'm gonna drink your water. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry. But yeah, in this episode. We're gonna try to take on Iron Island. I don't know how long it's gonna take because I don't think it should be too long. Hopefully it's not. But yeah, this is this is our plan for today. Uh, most likely next episode will be us taking on uh, Lake Valor and searching it up. I see what is here. I think. Well, we got nothing here. For the better treatment of Pokemon, the trainer school. That told me nothing. I think we can rest in here. No, we cannot. We can't do anything on that bed. Okay, then. Never mind. But what we can do is climb up here and go inside Iron Islands. So we have two paths. One of them is a very short path, and the other is a longer path. I should have actually got some more super repels. I thought this would be enough. Uh, let me see. Who do I want out front? I'm gonna actually have Gengar out front. Also, you might have noticed that I don't have a, don't have one of my a substitute team members in here. That is actually important. You do want to keep one of your slots open. At least if I'm remembering this correctly. Hopefully I am. Ooh, speak about needing super repels. <laughs> there is one right there. Thank goodness. That was actually very much needed. Uh, nothing here? Nothing here. I think we're gonna have to fight this train, aren't we? Yeah, we are. Yeah, you know what? The first fight of the day. First fight of the day. First fight of the episode. Why not? We'll show it off. Besides, <laughs> I get to show off more of my Gengar, which I, for one, am pleased about. Stardavia? <laughs> oh, girl, Psh. Just because my Gengar is a ghost type don't mean I can't hurt you. If anything, we're probably gonna use Sludge Ball. <laughs> that Intimidate don't do nothing towards me. That literally does nothing, which I am so pleased about. Let's go! <laughs> Sludge Bomb! One shot it. We are so over leveled. So I will make note, if you do feel like your team is a little under level for, uh, to take on Byron, you can actually come over to Iron Island to, uh, grind up a little bit more. Ooh, Shirubi. You know, I will say, I do actually like Shirubi and the fact that if you make it sunny, it turns into the other form, which is kind of cute. I don't know if there's an actual difference between the two forms. I would assume, uh, it being in the sunny dress thingamajig or whatever it's called, me makes it more faster and stuff, maybe? I don't know. We're not going to win if we play around like that. We got 744 Poke Dollars. Oh, also, to make note, I also went out and bought new outfits for myself. I bought every single one. So, and something I didn't even notice is apparently with the outfit changes, your backpack also changes too. Which I think is a neat, it's kind of neat. Oh, and one other thing. If you buy all of the costumes, all the outfits, you get uh, another. S you get a sticker for your ball capsule. Hold on, I I will I will show this. So you see, you have this one set of line, right? Well, if you press the R button, you go to another set of lines behind it. And if you buy all the clothing, you get this fashion nista sticker. I don't know what it looks like, and I'll probably show it off later. Um, I guess I might have run the wrong way, but we'll go this way. Yeah, okay. So there is actually a route we want to take, but I do want to show off the non-important routes. I'm, if anything, I'm going to try not to fight too many trainers in here. Ooh, TM23 Iron Tail. Okay, that's pretty good. Oh, so I didn't need to waste money and get by myself my own Iron Tail. Man. Oh, one thing to make note of as well is... Ooh, Bottle of Iron. That raises the fence. But one thing to make no uh, mention of is, after you beat Byron, uh, you actually get the ability to buy TM Earthquake in the Grand Underground. But it's only from the large uh, sphere uh, seller. 
I would say I highly recommend getting Earthquake. Earthquake is easily one of the strongest ground type moves ever, so I am actually gonna make my way of trying to get that. The only reason I don't have it is because it cost me 12 Prism Fears, I believe it was, and I did not have 12, so <laughs> sadly if I didn't buy Dragon Claw, I actually would have had enough, which is kind of sad. I'm like, man, I think it's this, yeah. Okay, that's the route we want to go, but I want to go back up. What does the left side have for us? I'm assuming the left side actually has something important for us. Oh, there's an item right there. I actually didn't see that. Well, it's a good thing I went back up then. Shucks. Okay, let's go and get that one. Oops, sorry. Gonna... Let's go get that one item then. What does this Pokeball contain for us? Hi, Cooper. Ooh, an escape drone. That could come in handy. I... Actually, I don't think so. I don't think that is going to come in handy at all here. Okay, what did the left side have for us? I'll be honest, I don't remember much about the Iron Island, so... <laughs> apologies if I feel like I'm confused. It kind of is... It's, it's because I kind of am confused. Nothing here? Well, that's kind of pointless. Ah! Yes. <laughs> I'm running out of super repels. Oh, lord. Oh, am I going to have to fight that trainer no matter what? No. Don't run. Okay, there we go. Got it. I don't know if there is... Ooh, an iron ball. Uh, I don't know if this has any actual usage. What it does is, if you put it on a flying type Pokemon or on Pokemon with Levitate, it makes it so they are not flying anymore or have Levitate. They can be hurt with ground type moves, and I believe it also makes the user heavier. So they have a lot of weight on them at that point. I don't know if that has any actual usage in competitive play. So, for any com competitive players watching, I would actually like to hear if it has any competitive play. I think for a fling, it works great, but I think that might be it. Like I said, I really have no idea, so I am not a competitive player and I probably will never be. Uh, <laughs> I will admit, I think, I think competitive Pokemon players have a lot of more patience than I do, because I don't, it's not, the it's not the fact that I have no patience, it's just the fact that I'm not really interested in doing EV trainings for for so long. I'm like, uh, I can't do that. What is entertainment, dude? The user dances with an odd rhythm that compels the target to mimic it, making the target's ability the same as the user's. No, actually. If I had Klutz, that wouldn't be too bad, but I don't. And I honestly have no interest in that, so... Uh, let's switch into... Let's switch it to Heracross, yeah. I was thinking about not doing Heracross, but nah. Let's give Heracross a chance. Hi, Cooper. Hi. Hi. I also I forgot to turn off my phone. And I don't know where it went. I lost my phone. <laughs> oh, there it is. Hi, JJ. Uh, we'll use... Freak Freak. Let's see. Oh. Is it faster than us? Oh, it did fake out. Okay, got it. I I'll be honest, I was not paying attention. I was like, what happened? <laughs> One shot it! I will admit, I think Sally, we're gonna. No, because we weren't even over level towards Byron. We just were stronger than him. I just had a better team members. You got 744 Poke Dollars. Let's go. Uh, okay, here we go. Okay. So now we're gonna go the actual route we're supposed to be uh, going down through places, things, stuff. Was it up here, right? Dang it, I gotta go back around. I hope I don't run out of super repels in here. There are quite a bit of strong Pokemon in here. Uh, how many super repels do I have left? Please tell me I still have enough. I have eight. Oh, I have more than enough for the rest of this area. I don't need to worry one bit. Okay, let's go. Okay. Now, for this place, we meet up with... You are... Okay, you're Mika. I'm Riley. I'm a trainer, and yes, it is a bit odd that I would be training here. If you like, we could team up. The wild Pokemon here are restless. You decided to go with Riley! Yes! If your Pokemon get hurt, I'll heal them up. This is just like with Cheryl and, uh... Shoot, what was that place called? The Eternal Forest? Yeah, it's exactly like that area with him. Ooh, actually, you know what? I'm gonna do something quite interesting because I know what Pokemon he uses. 
So I want to bring her across out front too. Let's go! <laughs> we gotta do a double battle. We gotta do our double battle here. Just to show up what Riley has. Because Riley has a really good Pokemon. We already seen it before too, so. <coughs> do, do, do. I don't know if anybody here is a required battle. Zubat and Raveler. He has a Lucario! Yeah, we saw Mayling use uh, have one, and Riley also has a uh, Lucario. Lucario is actually a really, really good Pokemon, so I do like the fact that we get to see see it be used more often now. I am going to be trying to do all the trainer fights in here just so we can see him use a Lucario. Hopefully he uses it correctly. Actually, so far he is. <laughs> yeah! Paralysis! If that... Okay, good. Smack down on me. Yo, you jerk. There was no need for that. You go bat. Um, let's see. I am gonna use every race. Hopefully this takes on that head across. That head across that go bat. Ooh, it survived. <laughs> that go bat is actually what scares me because of hair across. That go bat gets up any flying type move. Hair across could be down. Oh, there we go. Air cutter hits both of us. Oof, it did so much damage. A critical hit, come on! Ah, uh, you suck! Uh, one more time, Aerial Ace. Come on, take it down, yes! Oh, thank goodness. Uh, the Machoke could have me worried. I'm not really too worried if any of my team members go down, because Riley can heal me up, so I'm not too worried. I just don't want to lose anyone. I do want everyone to get some E. That's what's the EV. Some EXP. Not on me, not on me. Ooh, if it's on the cardio, that's still gonna hurt. Yeah. Also, did that look how you screech on my choke? Well, I actually, if anything, that could be good, because that could mean I could take him out with one angry ace. Let's see. One shot. Yes! Let's go! Alrighty! This is not going too bad like I thought it was. <laughs> yeah, the only reason I wanted to use Hypercross was because we're both fighting types, so I'm like, why not? Why the heck not? Ooh, paralysis again? That's good! Sand Tomb. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I think this is the only thing that is scary with- Oops, sorry, JJ. Sorry. I think this is the only thing that is scary with this fight is, uh, all of their team members are super effective against Sicario. <laughs> But still, Lucario did really good. Like I said, Lucario's a really good Pokemon. We sadly haven't had a chance to actually be able to catch one though, which is kind of sad, but I'm sure eventually we will. One day. Alright, uh, let's continue moving forward. What is this? Ooh, an Ultra Ball! We've been able to buy one, so that's not really uh, anything new, but it is kind of nice to get a free one. Ah, uh, barely. I don't think I can have a Pokemon walking with me while I'm, uh, I'm walking with Riley, so. Sad as it is, I can't have any of my team members with me. Sadness. Uh, we're gonna have another double. I think, Sally, I think every single fight in here is gonna be required. Oh, wait. Is he blocking me off? I think he just blocked my, uh, my way. You, punk. I, I hate you so much. <coughs> Uh, I don't think this should be too much of an issue. All right, let's see. Oh, Tetsu leveled up. Let's go. I don't think I learned any new. Yeah, no new moves yet. Force bump. Dang! We're all one-shotting everything. Let's go. <coughs> Alright, let's go. Ooh, level up again. What'd you get? No new moves. Gosh darn it. Steelix. Yeah, this one could be a little scary. Just a wee bit. <laughs> you know, I actually do kind of find this funny. We have, we have both an Onyx and a Steelix. Break, break! Actually, funny enough, I think Onyx is a little bit more of a uh, attacker than Steelix. Still looks like for sure more of a tankier Pokemon. Actually, one thing I do- wait, I didn't take it out? Dang, how tanky is the Steelix? 
But I was gonna say, I think one thing I do find funny is, uh, Onyx is actually a lot faster than Steelix. Like, yeah, it makes sense because of Steelix being, a uh, coated in a lot of heavy steel, but I was like, man, you wouldn't think a big rock snake would be fast. Uh, I'm actually gonna focus my Brick Break on the Onyx instead. Hopefully, the car can take out the Steelix. Should be able to. Do, 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 yeah, 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 let's go! And now he on they only have one more team member left. I think it's the right one who has the last one. Ooh, level up! Ooh! Throat Chop! I think that's also a fighting type move, is it not though? No, it's a dark type move! The user attacks the target's throat and the resultant suffering prevents the target from using moves that emit sound for two turns. So, stuff like uh, supersonic, hyper voice, and stuff like that. That isn't too bad, honestly. And it's 80 powers. Um, I'm gonna take rid of uh, Aerial Ace or Shadow Claw. I know I just taught it Shadow Claw, but Throat Chop might be a little better because of it. Because of that 10% strength increase. Uh. You know what? I'll get rid of Area Ace for right now. No. Nah, I'll get rid of Shadow Claw. If I decide I want Shadow Claw instead, then I'll put it back on, but <coughs> I haven't had a need for. I haven't. I actually haven't used it yet. I feel like Throw Drop might be a little better if I end up having a need for it, so. Kind of my reasoning. Yeah. I'll laugh if uh, Shadow Claw does end up uh, coming out where I do need it, but I highly doubt it. And if I do, I have Gengar for that, for that reason. Do, 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 do. Maybe I should head to the gym and work out there. You played me like an amateur. Ooh, 3K. <laughs> Funny enough, I am actually a little broke because of all my uh, shopping I did. <laughs> Funny enough. Uh, yeah, let's go. Uh, I pound the fear of my fist into you all karate style. You know, it's a good thing I didn't get rid of Area East then. I'm kind of glad about that. Oh, only two and two. Okay, one and one. Me oh, Medichim and Krogon. Uh, yeah, that should be an easy fight. Both Pokemon Sally and Lucar might not be able to handle, but. Eh, Heracross can handle both of them. The main problem I'm gonna have is against that meta chance, so. Got it, so I'm gonna take out first. Nice! Nice! Metaclock? That's not enough to revive them, but. Ooh! Even without a means of effective, that still did a lot. Okay, good. Uh, there it is. We could have actually used Throat Chop just to show it off, but nah, we good. There's gonna be plenty of chances to show uh, Throat Chop off later on. The Angar leveled up, let's go! Do, 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 do. You don't know how frustrating it is to lose now. <laughs> I don't. I'm so sorry, I got a bit mouthy there. Uh, we're running through this. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I don't, I don't, I don't. Pokeball, Pokeball, Pokeball. I want. Ooh, a magnet. That increases your uh, electric type moves. That wouldn't be too bad on uh, Luxray or Low Bunny due to the uh, Thunder Punch. I might use it. I might put it on Low Bunny at some point. Actually, ooh, Iron Plate. Ooh. The original one, but breathe along, breath along before the universe came. I hope I said that right. But yeah, Iron Plate increases the power of Steel type moves, so that wouldn't be too bad. I might put that on and pull me on, if anything. Actually, hold on. Wait, let me see. Can I still go up there? I still can! So I. Okay, I was wrong. I can. They didn't trap me. Okay, good. Found Max Potion! <laughs> I don't know if we could. Yeah, I don't think we could buy Max Potions yet, so that is actually a very good find for free. Okay, well, <laughs> we can see what we gotta do in a bit. 
we gotta deal with some Team Galactic grunts here. It's a good thing we came to Iron Islands then, because nobody would have told us about this. Uh, what if we go this way? Anything? No. I think that's it. Yes. Please don't be my last super repo. I think that should be it, though. I think, yeah. Yeah, that's it. So, all we gotta do is just fight these two and go after Team Galactic. You tell me, where else can I find a place as good as this to train? <laughs> if we battle here, your Pokemon will become stronger, and so will mine. That's a good thing for both of us. What's not to like? Let's throw down! What's not to like is your Pokemon's gonna lose. <laughs> Loser. Ah, you guys have a lot. Jesus. <laughs> oh, Pelipper. Ooh, you know what? I might actually switch out Heracross into Low Bunny. Yeah. Honestly, both Pokemon actually kind of... I am kind of fearful of both of these Pokemon, so... Low Bunny. I honestly think about getting rid of the um, amulet coin on a low buddy because right now there's not really much need for money anymore due to the fact that I already got all the clothing. Yeah, it's nice to get money just to buy more uh, Pokeballs or healing items, but it's kind of like I think at this point I'm gonna get more than enough for everything. I will get enough for the rest of the game. Uh, and if, even if I need more, I can always just go grind off those two old couples, so... It's like, it's really not that big of a deal. Do Thunder Punch! Nice! One shot! Yeah, I think after this fight, I'm gonna get rid of the, uh, everyday coin on Blue Bunny. I have no real need for it anymore. Well, maybe! Well, it's gonna- I'm gonna get rid of it, but I- My last team member- yeah, My last team member will have usage for it, cause... That team member's not gonna have any hell item that's good for it yet. At least I don't think it will. Uh, I'm actually gonna... Nah. I'm gonna leave uh, Ponita to Lucario. This might be bad though, cause... Okay, good. I forget what Laser Focus specifically does. Laser Focus does something. Other than make it where uh, the opponent will always hit their target. I think Laser Focus might increase their critical hit ratio too, actually. You know, you could have actually just taken out the Ponita instead of lowering its defense, Riley. No hammer. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. Oh, I think. I think the car is going down after this. Yeah. Well, there's no helping you out. <coughs> oh, you're attacking me this time. Ooh, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Lucario, uh, Lucario. Sudo would've went down, and I think, sadly, yeah, Lucario might go down this turn, too. Hey, if he could take out the Ponita, though, that would be great. Hey, did I just fully heal up due to the Drain Punch? Did I? Nice. Let's see. Does Lucario survive the burn? Yes! He lives on with 10 HP! Oh yeah, Tailwind. They were faster than us this whole time. Ooh, Flotsam most likely has a uh, Aqua Jet, so yeah, the car is not gonna survive. Oh no, he's not using Aqua Jet. Okay then. Swift. Okay. Well. <laughs> Dang. Okay, that Lucario is a trooper. Up, up. Oh, you use Laser Focus. Why? Could have used Force Palm. Dude! So he only has two attacking moves. Force Palm and, um, Metal Claw. That's kind of lame. Oh, he did have Aqua Jet. Okay, I knew it. Ugh. Excuse me. <laughs> Low Bunny coming in clutch. Low Bunny coming in clutch. <coughs> Dude. Hunter! Uh, here we go. Yeah, punch is not gonna do- Ooh, that might hurt a lot, actually. No! Well, I guess because- I don't think Hunter- I don't think the Gasly line has a really good physical defense. Physical attack. I don't think they do. I think they're mostly special attackers. I have a Gengar, so I can look this up real quick. Hold on. But yeah, I don't think- I don't think that Shadow- Not Shadow. That uh, payback would have done anything either way. Ooh, that was a lot of money, actually. 
Let me see. Not you. You. Yeah, their physical attack isn't a great it, so yeah, payback would have not done anything for me. Anything to me. But, with that being said, I am probably gonna switch. Because I have two I have two items I can give to Low Bunny. Big Root, which will increase Drain Punch uh, HP stealing, or his Magnet to increase Thunder Punch. So that is something I do want to think about. I might give it Big Root. Just so that way, if there's a chance I can heal up more, I want to do that. But Thunder Punch wouldn't be that. Oh, Thunder Punch isn't going to be too handy in the later... And the later uh, fights coming up, like in all the required fights, so yeah. I'll, I'll just put in Drain Punch. Uh, since we've been using almost everyone, let's bring out Honchkrow. I know I haven't gotten to use him pull down in this episode, but I'll use Honchkrow for this one. I get it now. You're responsible for agitating, agitating the Pokemon. I don't care what good reason you may have, but I don't want you bringing any trouble into my mind. We're Team Galactic. We'll take all the Pokemon we want. Isn't that right, partner? You said it, brother. So that's what we're gonna do. We're abducting all the Pokemon from this rusted out iron hide. To share in all the joys and all the sorrows. That is how all the trainers of Pokemon live in Sinnoh. I won't allow anyone to defy that code of ethics. Come on, Mika. This is one battle we cannot lose. <coughs> Okay then, you know what, I agree with Riley. I was about to call him, call him Aaron. Aw, oh, they have six. Dang it. Zubat and Glamia. Oh, you know what, I have Erica there. Erica should be able to do enough damage. It probably won't take him out in one hit, but <laughs> it should do enough. Yes, yeah, thank you, Tetsu. Uh, Erica there. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of Steel, uh, Sky Tech at some point. As much as I- ooh, one shot- never mind! A critical hit! Critical hit on both! Dang! Okay! Shucks! Let's go! Let's go, Hunchko! Man, that's exciting news for me. <laughs> uh, Krogon? Ooh, air cut is gonna be great on Krogon. And Zubat again? Okay. Well, I know what I'm gonna use here again. Yeah, you should shudder, Krogon. You're gonna probably go down in one hit with this. Ah, uh, no, that means, like, ah, uh, they're gonna, uh, they're gonna be protected against Air Cutter, yeah. Oh, no, oh, no, it doesn't. Wait, then what does Quick Guard do? Oh, does Quick Guard protect from priority moves, so I wouldn't be able to use Quick Attack? Is that what it means? Okay. See, I never got that. I never knew what it, what it actually did. I thought it protected from, uh, moves that hit both opponents. <coughs> Uh, Skunky. Well then, this is actually kind of quite an interesting predicament here. I'm literally just gonna keep using uh, Air Cutter. There's nothing else I can really use. <laughs> I would love to use Sky. Ooh, no, I do know what move I wanted to switch Sky, uh, Sky Attack for. The thing is, if I actually want to go through with it, this is gonna cost me a lot of money to get that uh, TM. So we'll see though. Nice, nice. Actually, instead of before I do get it, I'm, I do need to look up to see if Honchko can't learn it. I don't want to get it just to find out Honchko actually can't learn it, because that'll be a waste of my money. Sky, oh, it's Night Slash. Nice. Ooh, critical hit again. Man, Honchko, the MVP here. <coughs> hey. Two critical hits in this one fight. That is good luck. I feel like crying. This is so sad. What a tough combination. I can't believe it. <laughs> Honchkrow is a very tough combination to deal with. Stop. I said stop. Your combination is so sick. The both of you and your Pokemon. Let's beat it, partner. You said it, brother. We don't even know what Team Galactic's big plan is anyways. Thanks. You really helped me out. Listen, I have a Pokemon egg here. Would you take it with you? Yes. Thanks. I'd like you to show that Pokemon that hatches from the egg all sorts of new places. The egg has been added to your party. Spending time with you was very enjoyable. I tend to test my skills in other places from now on. Let's meet again. Take care. Is there an item here? No. So, 
I'm just gonna spoil it right here and right now what that egg gives you. That egg actually gives you a, a Riolu. In Riolu, if you evolve it during with happiness during the daytime, it will it will evolve into a Lucario. So I say this phase isn't too bad, and especially because um you can potentially get a Lucario be fight before you fight Byron too. So and they're really good Pokemon. They get Force Bomb, which is always a paralysis type move, and they even get a move called Aura Sphere, which is a special fighting type move which never misses. So I say Lucario is actually a really good Pokemon. You should definitely go for one. All right, well there's nothing here. But yeah, that is it. We're done with Iron Island, and um, we still have a few minutes. Yeah, this recording has been going for 30 minutes so far. We can do a few more things. We said we we're gonna uh, show up what we can do with Surf. So with that being said, why not? <laughs> the first place we're gonna go to is I think Twin Leaf Town has a place we can Surf. I don't remember all the locations, so this might take me a while to see if I'm correct or not. Yes, we. Oh. Yes, it does have a surfing area. And it gives us nothing. Actually, I think that's wrong. I think it does give us something. Hold on. It actually gives us nothing. No, nope, there we go. We found an odd keystone. Yes. So, if you happen to get Spear Tomb from the first keystone, you can get the a second one from here and get you two uh, Spear Tombs. I don't know if you want to do that, because uh, getting one spirit tomb is already a pain in the butt to do. So, <laughs> and if you're wondering if, if I'm gonna show a spirit tomb, I will. I am just waiting to get to talk off to all the NPCs. <clears throat> I think there's a faster way to do it. Uh, it's just to keep leaving the Grand Underground and coming back in. So, that is exactly kind of what I'm doing. Uh, I wonder what's over here. There might be items here. I don't actually. Like I said, I don't actually know what everything, what Surf gives you for everything, so I'm finding, I'm learning too. Ooh, HP up! That's actually really good and useful. There is going to be one more area we do explore before we go to Lake Valor. So, and that's going to, that area is where we're going to explore in the next episode. So, yeah, we're still not doing a uh, story progression in this, in this, uh, anytime soon. Sea, Jar of Sea Essence. That powers up your water type moves, and I forget which Pokemon it does, but I think it's for Azuro. If you breed Merrells, you can get an Azuro. I believe that's the one it's for. There is another area up here we can use Surf with, which, uh, as much as I said we're gonna actually do, uh, we're gonna, it's only gonna be two episodes worth of just non-story progression. I think it's gonna be a third one. Yes, there is one more place to check out with Surf. That's another area. So, sorry about that, I didn't kind of lie. I'm sorry, I kind of forgot. I am very forgetful. I think we can use Surf here, right? Yes. Dude, let's see, anything here? There we go, PP up. <coughs> like I said, uh, using Surf to for a lot of these phases are really, really good. You should definitely go back to all the places you can Surf at and do this. Uh, nothing here. Okay. I could use my Drowsy Machine, but I don't feel like it. I'm a little too lazy for that. Uh, there is nothing for us down there. Okay. Uh, there's nothing for us in this area either, if I recall. Uh, there is something over here Ooh, to the right of our home city. <laughs> Sorry, I accidentally grabbed. I kind of accidentally got stuck in the microphone cable. <laughs> That's why you heard a little oop. <coughs> the, you know what? Hold on. Let me cut this part out because I'm going to buy me more super pills. Hold on. I'll be right back. I'll meet you to the right. Uh, oh, <laughs> I'm back, by the way. I don't know why, but I kind of forgot to say that. I think... Okay, I do know there's something to the right of us. I don't know why you surfed right here. I could have avoided that. Uh, no, there's something up there. Okay. That was a waste of time for me. Okay. Over here. And then we want to surf right here. Oh, by the way, the Pokemon you can get through a surfing uh, versus fishing rod are different Pokemon. So, so uh, I kind of forget which. Ooh, Giga Drain. That's a good uh, HP absorbing move. That's for grass types. There, I think Mega Drain is stronger than Giga Drain, so that is 
the not the strongest, but it's not bad either. Mm, I'm probably not gonna have any usage for it though, sadly. Uh, over here maybe? No. Okay. I think. To the uh, I don't know if the Laceon Town has a water for us to surf on. I don't think it does. It does not. Okay. And there's nothing up there either. Actually, there is something up here for us. Let's see, I know the way to Bellstone City has nothing either. So, which means Pastoria City should be the last area for surfing. Yeah. Oh, yes. I love the fact that I can, I'm using a repel and I don't even know where I'm going. Oh, never mind. We can't even go down there yet, can we? So surf here is gonna be useless. Yeah, I think surf would. I don't think we can surf here yet. Uh. Yeah, I think surf is gonna be pointless right here. So which means Pastoria City will be the last one. Oh no no no! Wait wait wait! We might be able to do no. Yeah, no Pastoria City is pointless. I mean, this area is pointless. We still have one HM move to grab before uh, we can do this area. Baba Barrel! Thank you for your assistance! Okay, if we go to the bottom right over here, yes, we can surf this route, this away, and explore this area. Uh, there's nothing. Is there anything down here? No. Up here, then. What is this? What is this? What is this? Mystical water! That is the same thing as the sea essence. It will power up your water type moves. Now, for this next part, I am gonna cut out until we find more water to the left of us. Because I know there is more surfing area. So hold on, we'll be right back. Okay, here we go. Ah, uh, let's see. Where do we get anything great? Uh, anything down there? No, but it could be something down here. Maybe here. Hey, protein! That raises the physical attack of a Pokemon. That, I'm giving that to you either Heracross or Low Bunny. Okay, let's see. Uh, I don't know if there's anything down here specifically. There is! Okay, that's it. Ooh, poison jab! That's a good poison type move. I think. I don't. <coughs> I'm gonna see who can learn that because I might want to give it to somebody. I think Low Bunny is a good content, good contestant for that. I think Gengar can also learn it, but I'm not interested. Poison Drop is a physical uh, poison type move, so for that reason, mm, not going on Gengar at all. Okay, but the next area is up here. Okay, we want to start all the way over here because we get more berries. Okay, this left berry is. Lumberries. Lumberries are actually really good hold items or just items to give to your Pokemon. They're essentially full heals, meaning they will heal off any status condition. It does not matter. So, we're gonna actually plant those two back. <coughs> okay, there's one more area to check before this episode. Up here, if we go all the way up, we would want to surf right here. I think that's the last surfing area, isn't it? Yes, it is. I know I don't have to use my super repel, but <laughs> I don't want to chance it. Well, actually, yeah. No, I don't want to chance it because there's a water. There's water right here. Okay, what? You, what are you? I found a ro jar of rose essence. That increases the power of grass type moves and. I believe it's for uh, breeding uh, to get Badu. I believe it's Badu that you're gonna get from that. Okay. Uh, actually, I think I lied. I think there's one more area we can go to, and it's to the east, to the west of Harlem City. I'm sorry. I know my east and west. I promise you. <laughs> actually, funny enough, my east and my north and my north and south. I obviously don't know, know the difference, but. It's the east and west that I always mix up for. I don't know why. I always do it. Yes. Right down here, I believe we should be able to explore. Yeah. We can explore down there. 
Uh, we can't go up the waterfall just yet, but we'll get that ability soon. Actually, not th not too soon. Actually, I just realized that. Uh, do you fight me? You better not fight me. God dang it! No! <laughs> Hold on, cutting this out. You're not that important for a for on-screen fight. Ah, hate you. Yeah, you're not too important for on-screen for an on-screen battle. Nope. 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 How dare you trick me, sir? I thought you were important. Well, nothing important here just yet. We are gonna have something to do here once we get uh, the next gym batch, though. But, with that being said, let's go in here. Because we can... There is an item we can grab here through a surf, I believe. Uh, yeah, that one. Oh, and up here, too, actually. Yeah, surprisingly, with surf, you get... Uh, you get to do a lot of things. Like, you get so many items. A Dawnstone! <coughs> I don't think a Dawnstone is useful. I know we got a Shiny Stone and a Dawnstone, but I don't believe either one are useful. I think... Actually, no, I think the Shiny Stone is useful. I think Shiny Stone is to evolve a Rosalia and to a Rosa Raid. But the Dawnstone right now, I don't think has any usage for us. I think, if I recall. Well, no, actually, I lied about that too. Well, maybe, I don't know. Protein. I actually don't know if I did. I might need to look it up. Because I don't think I... I I'm pretty sure Dawnstone is for post-game, I think. <sighs> could be wrong. I could be wrong. And uh, if I am, then so be it. Did we explore it over here for the longest? We could have came over here for the longest. No! Uh, I went to... I, you know what? How many points do you have? Two? I think you might be under level, so... You know what? I'll show this fight off, just because of your... Just because you're going to be weak. Oh, there's one more area we can search with a surf, but... Uh, we'll save that for the next episode. Uh... Air cutter. Do -do 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 yeah, we're gonna... We're a little too overpowered for this fight. I didn't realize we missed two items in the beginning of the of the series. But yeah, I think that is enough with the surf hunting. I think we already got everything we could do with surf. I'm much up! No, I'm taking it out. I just realized I didn't need to shut this fight off, but you know what? Screw it, we will. Hey, because it didn't take us long. It went by very quickly. Oh, she gives us so little money. You suck. Okay, we can't do anything there, but we can do something right here. And let's get this item. A dire hit! That's not worth it, honestly. All that does is I think it increases your chance of getting a critical hit. I believe that's all it does. I'm gonna follow you. There we go. Alright, <laughs> and with that being said and done, okay, we're gonna wrap this episode up pretty soon. I'm just getting to the area of what we're gonna explore in the next episode, which is gonna be up here. Since we got the ability to use Surf and Strength, we can now go... here. Yep, we got this area, and we also have another area that's down here we can also search. Yeah, so we got two new areas we're gonna be searching in in the next episode. So, with that being said and done, I am actually gonna see you guys in the next episode. Peace out, y'all.